Hello, it's Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for Tuesday's trading, the 29th of March 2016. Uh, we've had quite a long winded holiday, uh, obviously uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and obviously today. US markets are open, so I will be doing a US market video, but I am going to uh, do a summation for the European markets for the uh, uh, Tuesday's trading. Okay, now uh, Asian markets overnight at present, uh, currently uh, finished overall. Uh, the uh, Shanghai certainly finished negative. Uh, the Nikkei certainly finished positive, so up 0.7%, but the Shanghai certainly negative. We had stronger Chinese data out over the weekend. That certainly has failed to uh, propel the actual markets higher. Uh, it certainly has been interpreted as a uh, uh, a risk off tone due to the fact that uh, stronger data obviously doesn't justify further stimulus and therefore that's uh, sign indicated as being bearish and uh, therefore you're expecting the uh, the actual markets to uh, fall and that's exactly what occurred now a weaker yen certainly helped the um, the actual uh, uh, Nikkei and certainly propelled that higher and uh, you European markets even though the futures are trading at present certainly have gapped higher I've just been stopped out on my short Nasdaq from Friday I shorted around the 4400 level, stopped out at 4434. So quite an impressive move higher, especially with the uh, S&P now back at 25, 2046. I think it did touch a uh, 2050 high just before, before it actually pulled back. Okay, so certainly interesting. <clears throat> In terms of the futures for European markets, we've had a pivot high of 6170 on the FTSE, a pivot high at 3020 or 3030 on the uh, Euro stocks, a pivot high of uh, 4390 on the uh, CAC. And the Nasdaq itself has seen a pivot higher 4435, and the S&P has seen a pivot higher 2050. So quite impressive, quite impressive to say the least. Now you've you've had the uh, the Aussie and the Kiwi higher out overnight as well. Uh, certainly on a weaker dollar, even though we had stronger uh, economic data out from the US on Friday, stronger GDP, stronger personal consumption data. So those two factors will certainly uh, play an important part, and that certainly has. Uh, I have provided the catalyst for this gap higher on European equities that we should see on the US markets today and European markets Tuesday. Okay, now be sure to visit this uh, new uh, trade signaler app, Prox. This is a, a, um, a new app that's been designed by uh, CFDs.com to uh, certainly uh, post charts, analysis, etc. So be sure to uh, download it, www.tradesignaler.com. I'm certainly on there, so I certainly post my analysis and uh, via CFDs.com. So certainly be sure to download this app and uh, keep an eye on this app going forward, okay? It certainly will be very, very interesting. There's a lot of um, promising things to come in terms of this app uh, and in terms of trading and uh, charts and live trades, analysis, etc. So certainly download from the Google app and the Apple store. Okay, now European markets. Now the economic data... Uh, that is due uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours is really all concentrated in the US. Uh, so uh, it will be a more US centric um, uh, momentum move. Okay, we do have uh, for the Eurozone, we have money supply on Tuesday. Um, other than that, I can't see anything that will be market moving. So. All eyes on the US markets in terms of economic data to uh, shift momentum and uh, dictate the actual price action. So that should be interesting going into tomorrow. So all we have left really are fundamentals and fundamentals we already know with regards to the Brussels terror attacks. That certainly is a risk off scenario. Stronger GDP will certainly help uh, to a large extent. Uh, stronger Chinese industrial profits will certainly help to a large extent. But all that certainly has been factored in now. Uh, we did have news on the Friday with regards to Volkswagen concerns, so we'll see how that affects the markets itself. So let's bring up the charts then and see exactly where we stand in terms of uh, the technicals. Okay, so daily chart of the uh, Euro stocks. Uh, we have a uh, gap fill potential support here at 2970. So we've certainly broken out this bullish channel, so that's certainly some food for thought. We have horizontal support at this 2990 level. Given the fact that we're in that 3020 zone now, uh, again, we certainly have scope to move higher back up to 3080. But given the Brussels terror attacks and uh, fears of terrorism, etc. Also, the euro is now back at 1.17. So again, that's certainly something to consider. Having said that, bear in mind, like I said, the unfilled gap at 2970 has not closed. So that certainly will be a target and will remain a target. 10-minute chart, 
you can see that we do have resistance at 3000 and uh, you have resistance at 3014 the ultimate gap fill support will be at 3040 so if we get it back into that zone that will be resistance we do have resistance at 3030 as well okay the um, german dax bring up the german dax this is an important index that we all must observe the daily chart still in that bullish channel although you have that unfilled gap below at 9500 that needs to close the 60 minute chart you can see that we did have potential support in this zone at the 9850 zone now we currently are trading on the german dax quite oops uh, oops quite substantially on the german dax we are currently at present bear with me currently trading german dax at 9950 was a pivot high that we had okay so 9950 so you do have an unfilled gap up here uh, again if we start to push higher then that will be the gap that we are looking to potentially target so that gap is at 10 0 20 you have horizontal resistance or dead or 200 ma resistance should i say at the 9950 zone but the ultimate target will be 10 0 20 if we can stabilize and there's no other risk off event but bear in mind terrorism concerns from brussels will certainly weigh on the actual index itself okay now the french cap let's see exactly where we are positioned there french cap gap fill support we do have an unfilled gap at 4150 so certainly remain open-minded on both directions 60 minute chart we basically have um, negated this key support of 4350 uh, so if you do go back up and test that again that's going to be interesting the french cap currently trading at uh, 4370 4380 zone okay so again you do have this series of i mean you can clearly see a hns formation uh, in play and a series of lower lows and lower highs uh, in terms of the actual thrust higher you have a resistance at 4420 that's your gap fill resistance you have this diagonal trend line in play as well uh, you had horizontal resistance at 4350 it seems like we're going to cap above that what will be interesting to see is if we can hold this previous support equals resistance zone at 4370 so keep an eye on that 4370 zone as well uh, in terms of the french cac okay so again that's a zone that we're going to watch out for if you still continue to push higher then we all know gap fill resistance at 4420 on the french cac the FTSE 100 is very interesting now let's go to the daily chart given the fact that we've broken down now folks we've broken out this rising contracting wedge type pattern i'm just looking for consolidation now uh, and i've actually gone short at 6167 looking for this potential bear flag to play out so looking to test this 46040 zone on the uh, the FTSE 100 so this should be uh, very interesting okay in terms of uh, the 60 minute chart you can see that we clearly have a hns potential hns formation uh, certainly a lower high okay so we've certainly confirmed our resistance any retest up here at 6140 is going to be a key zone if we take the 6140 out if we do gap higher obviously and continue to gap higher then the next level of resistance is going to be this fib which is at yeah, fib 75 is at 6185 6170 that's your key zone okay you do have this diagonal trend line as well to watch out for if you go back up and test the 6200 but very unlikely unless oil certainly starts to move higher now oil prices i'll just come on to now as well okay so uh watch out for that 6160 6170 6180 i'll confirm that i have actually gone short the footsie from 6167 that certainly is something just to confirm okay in terms of the footsie you have the uh, key zone here which is the key bull bear zone at 6170 hence the reason why i've gone short you have the 200 ma as well hence the reason why i've gone short on the footsie itself okay you obviously have left an unfilled gap behind so your gap is at 6117 that certainly needs to close okay so all eyes on that potential gap on the FTSE itself for gap fill resistance okay uh, in terms of the FTSE so that certainly is indicating a bearish move now let's bring up the chart of oil and let's see exactly where oil is positioned as oil is quite crucial in this market because this market certainly is very very um, shall we say sensitive <clears throat> to the price of oil so we clearly seem to be uh, forging some sort of HNS formation here so the oil uh, market potential top certainly seems to be in for now and looking for a potential reversal so certainly indicates weakness from my perspective the 10 minute chart uh, as you can see here no real concerted higher highs now and you are looking for a potential reversal uh, the 60 minute chart let's bring up a 60 minute chart you certainly have this series of lower lows and lower highs yes we did certainly push higher off the uh, the 38.5 dollar level based on the uh, rig count news and certainly uh, have reversed subsequently so the key level again will be to watch is this 40 dollar level if we do reverse and move higher at the moment we did uh, reject that 39 so it should be interesting to see how we continue to do so okay in terms of brent let's bring up the chart of brent for you as well 
Okay, Brent again, you're back into that zone, you're making a lower high. Certainly is not good news. Okay, so again, economic data to watch out for, and that should dictate. Miss Yellen is on, on, on um, is, is due on uh, Tuesday, so it'll be interesting to see if she can maintain her dovey stance given the uh, given that her members have all obviously come out very hawkish, and that's obviously uh, helped the dollar move higher, which obviously is going to hurt the FTSE 100 and is hurting commodities at present. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com. Uh, for your trading needs, they are the specialists in um, spread betting and fine and CFD brokerage. Certainly, you'll be uh, uh, certainly take advantage of the T twenty five percent cash bonus offer as well, and uh, you can also visit the educational site as well. Okay, folks, that's a wrap. Uh, good trading for the week ahead. Goodbye now.